We've seen evidence from scripture that dinosaurs lived after Noah's flood, as well as indications that the dragons of legend were real creatures, what we now call dinosaurs. Okay, now apart from the similarity to dragons, what about artifacts that definitely look like a dinosaur? Yes. For example, here's a picture of a pillar at a temple in Angkor, Cambodia, that was built around AD 1200. The pillar features carvings of several recognizable animals, such as a monkey and a water buffalo. It also includes this one. School children from around the world have looked at this picture and said it looks like a stegosaurus. Okay, but wait a second. How did they know that? Well, they recognize the plates on the back and the sh shape of the tail. It looks like a stegosaurus. Okay, but uh, how did they know what a stegosaurus looks like? Well, they've seen them in books, museums, movies. Okay, but how did this artist in 1200 AD know what a stegosaurus looked like? I mean, that was before the days of paleontology. No dinosaur fossils had been dug up yet, and there were no dinosaur books or dinosaur movies showing in your local theater. That's a good point. <laughs> Maybe the artist actually saw a stegosaurus, or at least heard a description from someone who did. Yeah, exactly. And there are other similar examples. Uh, in 1496, Bishop Bell of Carlisle was buried in the floor of Carlisle Cathedral. And you can visit his tomb to this day. And on the top of the tomb, there are a number of brass engravings, which again, include a number of recognizable creatures, such as a dog, a fish, and a bird. Seems like a recurring theme here, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. And yes, and here again we find a depiction of what clearly looks like two sauropod dinosaurs with their necks intertwined. Wait, you said 1496, right? Yeah, that's right. So again, we're seeing an artist's rendering of a dinosaur. We're told that it went extinct millions of years ago, and there were no fossils to go by, so the artist must have seen something like this, or just made it up, I guess. You can see a similar image at the Louvre in Paris. There's a cylinder seal there from Mesopotamia, a post-flood culture. When rolled onto wet, malleable clay, these cylinder seals leave an impression, in a similar way to how a roller stamp leaves an ink print on paper. These were used to authenticate documents, indicate uh, ownership, or decorate artifacts. This particular one leaves an impression like this when it's rolled out. Well, that looks familiar. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. It looks very similar to the brass engravings on Bishop Bell's tomb. But these were made by artists separated by thousands of miles and thousands of years. 